Hello, so this is going to be a review on diffusion and osmosis. All right, so uh, diffusion is the movement of molecules from a high to a low concentration. Osmosis is then just the diffusion of water. Uh, so we have here, we have a tank, and we have two different sides of the tank. And what separates the two sides is a selectively permeable membrane. Um, when we say selective, if something is selective, it's very picky, it's very choosy, like um, a selective college, uh, for instance, like Harvard, is only going to pick a small amount of applicants. So this membrane, just like the cell membrane, this membrane is going to be very selective, and permeable means uh, able to go through. So it's selectively permeable, so it only selects certain things to be able to go through it. Now, here we have many different molecules here. So these shapes represent molecules. We have stars, we have triangles, and we have little black dots. Okay, And they're all submerged in water. We're assuming this whole container is submerged in water. So um, now you have the tiny little black dots, and the stars and the triangles are a little bigger. So if this is the selectively permeable membrane, um, how membranes usually select uh, molecules that can go through them is based on size. So um, even even little plastic bags are actually selectively permeable, and uh, they have little tiny pores. So like right here and right here, that really small things can go through. So um, what can happen is there are one, two, three, four, five, six black dots on the left side, and uh, because of diffusion. Um, molecules, they're, they're very crowded on the left side, and so they want to spread out. And so a few of them will eventually, they will go through these little pores in the membrane, and a few of them will go over here, okay? And so then we can erase one, two, three. So now there's three black dots on the right side, three on the left side. Okay, when there are three on both sides of the container and it has spread out, we call that equilibrium. Okay, it has reached equilibrium. Now, uh, one thing to notice is that the triangles and the stars, they're too big. Those represent molecules that are too big. Uh, that, and they cannot go through these little pores in the membrane. So even though they want to spread out and they might, molecules are always moving, they might collide with the membrane, they're not actually going to be able to go through those little pores. So those little pores are what make the membrane permeable to the small molecules, such as the black dots here. Okay, so now we have another container, and again, we're going to assume this is filled with water and we have the selectively permeable membrane in the middle. So if we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, black dots and, uh, on the left side, then, uh, then how many do we need on the right side to move over to the right to reach equilibrium? Well, that's going to be uh, five. So we can erase one, two, three, four, five. And then we can draw some more black dots over here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And so the direction, the flow was from the left side where there was a high concentration, okay, uh, to, the, uh, to the right side. So the flow of molecules was that way until it reached equilibrium. Now once it's at equilibrium, the molecules keep moving. However, some will go to the left side and some will go to the right side, but it's going to stay about equal to five on the left, five on the right side. Okay? All right. Now, finally, you have um, osmosis, and osmosis is the diffusion of water. So water is really special, and um, because water is essential to all living things, um, we say that um, we actually give the diffusion of water its own name, osmosis. So let's say you have... Let's draw some more black dots over here. Four, five, six. Let's go back to six. Okay. So then this is submerged with water again. Okay, so water's on both sides of the membrane. 
Now, uh, you might be asked, well, um, what side has a higher concentration of the black dot molecules? Um, and you would say the left, because one, two, three, four, five, six, the left has six, and you know what, let's say the right has two, but that's still not as many as six, so uh, the left is gonna have a higher concentration. So the, the black molecules, a few of them, they'll be colliding, and it's more crowded on the left side, so some of them will want to move over to the right side, okay? So that's going to be the direction of diffusion. However, you have water, and water is, remember, water is all around these black dots, okay, in, in all directions. And water is over here as well. The water is on both sides. Well, if it asks you which side has more water, this side is going to have more water because you have to remember these molecules on the left side, well, on both sides, but the molecules take up space. And so each molecule is going to push water away from it because it takes up space. So uh, because there's more room over here, there's going to be more water because there aren't as many uh, black dots pushing the water away. So in that case, since there's more water on the right side, the water is actually going to want to move from the high concentration on the right side, okay, and it's going to want to move to the left side to equal out. So once it is equal, you would have four black dots on each side, and then the water would uh, diffuse through the membrane as well, and we would, again, we would get to equilibrium. Okay, so there are two more things that I wanted to say about this. So first, if we took this selectively permeable membrane and we made the pore sizes larger, okay, so now there are pores where the larger molecules represented by the triangles and the stars can go through. Um, what's going to happen is uh, well, there's a high concentration of the large molecules on the left side, so they're going to move to the low concentration on the right side. So you're going to have a few of these stars. If there are four stars, or you might have two move from the left to the right. Okay, so the direction of flow was to the right. Uh, and then you might have uh, a triangle move over as well if they can go through that four. Um, because there are only three triangles, you're going to have um, one here, two here, or it could be vice versa. Um, but I'm always going to give you e even number of molecules. But anyway, uh, that so the triangle also moved from a high concentration to a low concentration, and now it's at equilibrium. Well, the movement of these molecules, the stars, the triangles, the black dots, the black dots here, and the black dots here, that is diffusion. And diffusion is the movement of all molecules like salt, sugar, dye molecules. It's the movement of those molecules in water. Osmosis. There was only one example of osmosis that I gave you on here, and that was this, where the water moved from the high concentration on the right side to the left side. So this arrow is the only arrow here that's actually representing the movement of water molecules. Okay, So that's important to be able to distinguish the difference between diffusion and osmosis. I hope this helps.